great John Philip Sousa was once asked, what is the top three American marches, top five American marches? And he picked four of his own marches um, that he said were in his top five. Um, so there's no praise like self-praise, I guess. But the one march that wasn't his was the second one we just played, National Emblem there. Um, and I think it's one of the best ones. Um, as I mentioned, we're off to Delaware in uh, in June, and uh, this is our third will be our third trip that the band have undertaken to the United States. Uh, the first one was back in 2004, 2004. We went to Chicago. Uh, 2010, we went to Delaware. And um, on the first trip to America, we, we got a medley written that featured lots of American music. Um, and it was arranged by um, someone from a, a very talented family of music. Uh, my cousin wrote it. Um, <laughs> but it, it features um, the music to start with, well, Neil Diamond coming to America. You get a little glimpse of West Side Story. Uh, with America, uh, and then you get Yankee Doodle Dandy, you get a little snippet, literally a little snippet of the United States National Anthem. Their big hymn, America, the beautiful, um, and then it finishes off with the Battle Hymn of the Republic um, towards the end there. So it's a whole medley of pieces uh, with America as, it, as its theme, and uh, we'll be playing it this year when we go to, uh, to go and see Uncle Sam.
hopefully we get the chance to perform uh, when we go later on this year. Um, one of the biggest projects we've done in recent months, um, which was sort of finished the end of our 60th year, was uh, a CD. Uh, and there are some CDs available this evening um, of a piece of work we did basically towards the end of the year. And it featured a whole uh, collection of tracks, really, that were inspired by stage and by screen. We spent two days recording it up here. And we released it just before Christmas, um, but there's the opportunity to there. You might miss Valentine's Day, but it's a good Mother's Day present if you want, a good Father's Day present coming up there. Uh, so please uh, get a chance to get one at the canteen there. So we're going to play a couple of pieces that we recorded there to give you a taste of what the CD is about. Um, the first one really was is, is from a 1992 animated film that was then re-released um, in the last year or so as a full action, full live um, story really, and it, it's set in France and um, tells the story basically of Beauty and the Beast. Um, and so the, this next piece now is highlights from the actual film of Beauty and the Beast. <coughs>
from a film, a whole series, a trilogy of films, I think, um, called <coughs> Twilight. What is it? Twilight Saga. I haven't seen the film. Um, but it's a wonderful piece of music that was it charted, uh, one of the pieces from it, by um, an artist called Christina Perry. Um, it's a wonderful piece of music, a particular favourite of mine, and I hope you enjoy it. This is called A Thousand Years. <coughs>
shoehorned into making a story. Um, it became a very popular uh, film and a very popular West End show uh, called Mamma Mia. Well, apparently there's a Mamma Mia 2 coming out this year, so uh, we can't let the cage not go like that go past without marking it. So um, we're going to get in the mood for Mamma Mia 2, whatever, whatever they may be, um, with some music um, and selections from Adam.
vocal band. Um, so we come to the end of our set um, before it's going to be a very quick changeover, so if you need to take a quick trip to the loo, then uh, it's only going to be a quick five minute changeover um, while our guests um, set up. And um, we've been working with them all day today, um, the band of the, the pupils of the rifles, and they are famous for being a, a light infantry um, part of the, of the army. And the light infantry, they do everything at speed. So even their marching is done at like 140 paces a minute there. Um, so a bit of a tribute to them there. We thought we'd finish with something that goes a bit fast. Uh, the inspiration for this was taken from 1994, um, at the midpoint of the Eurovision Song Contest um, in Ireland. Uh, there's a piece of music uh, introduced Irish dance into the world with a piece called River Dance. Now River Dance uh, promoted the, um, the career, if you like, of Michael Flatley, who then went on to produce his own show, <coughs> Tour of the World, called Lord of the Dance. And the piece of music from there is, is an old shaker hymn uh, called Lord of the Dance there, but it features uh, basically the drumming of uh, the dancing, and it's quite fast and furious. And so um, this is what we're going to end with today. And it starts off with uh, Piccolo Solo. Back to you again, I'm afraid, Lucy. Uh, so this is Lord of the Dance. <laughs> 